Attention, the following program is black as fuck. If you find yourself getting in your feelings about folks cutting up, neo soul music, loud laughter, and profanity, this program is not for you. This ain't your mama's cooking show. Brother, shit gets lit. And on my mama, the food is fire. Thank you for watching. Cook too. We do this shit, you dig? So what we got on the menu, cuz? Well, today, I know Robbie doing that Beijing beef. It ain't it ain't Panda Express. It ain't your mama uh, kitchen. Robbie so mommies. You know what I'm saying? And he got that pad thai, that chicken pad thai. Y'all don't know what that shit gonna be tasting like, man. I'm telling you, it's gonna be good, man. Y'all ain't ready for it. Good, I can't wait to eat this. We only got a little bit of, we got one, we got one shot. We're gonna save it for later. You know what I mean? I don't know why you're watching me. I'm not the one in the kitchen. Yeah, we here, it don't matter. We here, we outside. We in the kitchen. Cooking. Cooking up double in the crock pot. <laughs> 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 we got the Beijing beef right there. We can cut it up. Make sure if you're doing the Beijing beef, you got a couple couple different steaks you can do it with. Make sure it's slim like this. So we did a light seasoning on it, you know? Got a little seasoning salt on it. Got a little pepper on it. A little paprika on it. And we ain't got the ginger, because I grated it all, but we got a little ginger in there. We got the bread station right here, you know, you got the little egg wash. Got the flour with the corn flour, put the seasoning in there. And then we got the sauce. So the sauce consists of, got ketchup, rice vinegar, sriracha, cane sugar, hoisin sauce, soy sauce, and a little bit of water. That's gonna go in later, you're gonna see that. So we got a bread, we gotta bread the we gotta bread the meat. Throw that on up in the in the in the egg wash. Get that nice and coated up. Throw that in the flour. Coat that up. And we already got some fried in there, but we got put that on up in the grease. Get that fried up. I'm telling you, it's, it's, just wait for the finished product. Y'all ain't ready for it. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. I'm telling you. You see, I'm washing my hands. I ain't, I ain't about to be dirty. I'm clean. I'm clean. Let's do this. And I'm just letting y'all know right now, I'm not going random. I'm the hood going random. I don't measure nothing. Y'all got the teaspoon, tablespoon, pinch, cup. Two cup, I don't do that shit. I use I use my eyesight and my feelings. My ancestors say stop doing that, and I'm like, all right, bet. So I'm not about to sit there and be like, use a tablespoon of salt, use a tablespoon of sugar, use a tablespoon of soy sauce. Now fuck that. Pour that in there, and it's gonna taste good. If you know what you're doing, you don't need to use no tablespoon, no tablespoon. That's all to be baking nothing. So when I be baking, they be, you have to go by the directions. I don't follow directions. I do what I do. <laughs> and my shit still tastes good. All right, so first off, this is what we did. We started it off with the, uh, I, I diced up some, well, not diced, but I sliced up some uh, green bell peppers. The green bell peppers, you got olive oil. I did some paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and then we did um, some hoisin sauce. That's really all you need because we did the salt and everything in the chicken. So for the chicken, I did soy sauce, which that's that acts as the salt because you don't need too much salt uh, if, if it's soy sauce, because that's salty as hell as it is. And we did more paprika because you can't never have enough paprika. I did some peppercorns, 
I did uh, garlic uh, powder and onion powder, and that's pretty much it. I did, uh, and then some more hoisin sauce. But that's, that's the marinade we got for the chicken. We're gonna throw that on later, because chicken cooked fast, so does the pad thai noodles, so does the bell peppers, and we want it to be fresh. So you come in here, take it out the, take it out the grease. It don't have to be too golden. This is a good, this is a good thing to have it on because once it sits for a little bit, it'll golden up a little bit. And then it's gonna have a nice little crunch once you put all the sauce and shit on it. You know, we got that shot of that Casa Doors, you know what I'm saying? It's the best cheap tequila out there, you know, outside. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you don't hear that cork pop, don't need to be drinking it. This right here, this is what we call a scoop shot. All right, what you do is you fill it to the brim and you don't go over. If you go over, it's a failure. To the brim and you don't go over. Bubble up, you can take it as slow as you want to. Zip, 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 And don't go over. That's a perfect scoop shot right there. You're welcome. Whenever Robbie saw Bobby ready, I'm about to knock these back. Hey. And keep cooking. Guess what, man? <laughs> I stay ready saying so you gotta get ready. That's what we do. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. I'm gonna take this shot. And how we do it? Straight lace? No chase. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lord. Amen. Woo! Just, I feel like we should have explained this first uh, before we even started cooking. But what I want to explain to y'all, this ain't no regular cooking channel. You know how you see on the cooking channels, you're like, oh, damn, that look good. That's take too much effort for me to do. Nah, we break this shit down. We make it simple. It's like, look, if you, you know what I'm saying, you want to, you on a second date or something, you trying to impress this chick that you just brought back to the crib or something like that. These are recipes that's easy to make, they're delicious, they'll make her fall in love. You know what I'm saying? Hear me out. You know what I'm saying? Just pay attention, follow follow our lead, you got it. And if you know what you're doing, I'm letting you know this right now. If you know how to cook, you can remix it. Because guess what, when I make this, I looked it up and said, this is how you're supposed to do it. And I put extra stuff in my sauce, extra stuff in my meat, extra stuff in all that. You don't have to follow the rule. Make it to how you like it. So we're about to start the noodles now for the pad thai. Uh, basically, we're gonna cook them for a little bit. They're gonna set aside, and then we'll throw them in the oil, and we're gonna fry them up with the, with the vegetables uh, in a little in, in a little later. But for right now, you know, it's always good to know. Uh, you know the, the cook time and what can actually sit for a little bit and wait. You know when 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 you're actually uh, when you're cooking shit. Appreciate you. We're gonna put it on the back burner. I don't need that shit. Let that water come up to a boil. Um, basically, rookie tip: you want your water water to come to a boil a little bit quicker. As a matter of fact, hold on. I just thought about it. I'm making a lot. So let me put a little more water. But rookie tip, if you want your water to boil faster, what you can do, you add salt and then you cover it. So add salt to your water and you cover it with whatever you got, whether it's a lid. I use, shit, I don't care. I don't, if, if this one I ain't got a lid for, I'm gonna use a little baking pan. Cover that shit up. Got you, cut. Appreciate you. Baking pan as a lid, you know what I'm saying? Hood nigga kitchen, we got it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, add salt. Get you, get you that fresh, fresh uh, salt grinder. Don't get that already pre-grind shit. We don't fuck with that in this house, okay? You gotta get the granules, the, 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 the whole granules, and then you just, mm, that way it's fresh. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So be generous, be generous, don't be, don't. I don't, I don't fuck with that little. Nah, nah. Y'all ever been? Y'all ever been in the ocean and accidentally drink that water? Salt water. That's what you want. We don't want no plain ass water. For real. Guess like, what? Guess what? It. You know what that salt turns into? 
flavor. It's, uh, all them noodles is gonna absorb that flavor and it's gonna be delicious. I fuck with you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, do not. I'm telling you, if y'all use plain water, your shit gonna come out nasty. Use salt. Use an, a lot of salt, a lot of it. And don't be scared. Cause there's gonna be a lot of water in there so it's gonna absorb it too. So do not sit there and not salt your water. Don't use no, no pinch, no pinch. No, use a lot of that salt or if you have it, dump that in there. Dump that shit in there. Use it all. I'm telling you. Don't be shy. Like I said, it don't need to be perfect though, especially cause it's beef. Beef don't have to be well done. If it's chicken, it has to be fully done. I don't know y'all eating medium rare chicken. I don't know about well, none of that shit. But um, yeah, beef don't need to be fully done. You can have a little pink in it. But this is the good texture right here. It got a little bite to it. So yeah, just wait. I'm telling you, it's gonna be so good. Y'all ain't ready for it. Y'all ain't ready for it. The noodles, I'm just gonna mix it up. A little bit of uh, chicken stock. Uh, just because I don't like to use regular water when I'm doing, when I'm doing my noodles uh, when we fry it up. So when we fry it up, uh, we'll do regular regular fry. Uh, we don't really need to flavor the noodles too much because we already got a lot of flavor in the vegetables. We got a lot of flavor in the chicken. So if you, if you watched the earlier part of the video, it's going to uh, absorb all of that flavor. So what we'll do is we'll throw it in the oil. Uh, with a little bit of chicken stock and it'll uh, it'll absorb the flavor from the chicken stock all is also the chicken the um, vegetables and the noodles because chef Rob, uh, robbie somabi he doing the uh his beijing beef you can do beijing beef with vegetables and and rice on the side you know what i'm saying that's a standalone meal again I'm doing uh, the pad thai noodles. We're doing pad thai noodles. You can do pad thai noodles because it's carbs, protein, and then you can do vegetables on the side. That's a standalone meal. This is for you niggas who don't know how to cook. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, 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 and we just we giving you the we giving you the basics. Like you could be on some fancy on some fancy. Uh, she's gonna be like, did you go to Panda Express to get this? Nah, no. I made this shit by myself. We made this, this kitchen ourselves. All right, so what we about to do now? Uh, I got the pad thai noodles. I don't care if y'all wanted me to hand make these motherfuckers. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I don't even know how. Listen, just because I went to culinary school don't mean I know how to hand make every fucking thing, okay? I know how to hand make pasta noodles, not pad thai noodles, all right? Don't fuck with me. All right, so we're gonna throw these bitches in the, in the, in the little thing, in the pot of boiling water, because we did get that up to a soft boil, which is fine. I'm gonna do two packs because we're feeding four motherfuckers here. You didn't get everybody on camera, but you know what I'm saying. That's okay. So, throw this shit in here. I'm gonna tell you what, this, this, this little fucking box of Pad Thai kitchen, whatever the fuck noodles, came with uh, a little pre, pre made little Pad Thai sauce. We're not gonna use that. We don't use pre made sauces in here, okay? We make our own, all right? Plus, you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to impress a female, that's gonna look a little bit better for you. In the long run, you know what I'm saying? Cuz know what I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, I'm so yeah, mommy, I'm you know what you gotta do. Tell me, yeah, I'm telling you. No, nah, cause I had some, I had some shit like that too. But I'm telling you, I made my own shit, and she was like, "Ooh, this is good." Yes, that's how you gotta do it. Go ahead, cuz. Yeah. Tell me, tell yes, me sir. Man. In fact, you know what I'm saying? Just cause y'all didn't know, first episode of uh, shit talk, first episode of happy hour. I know y'all saw me. I was singled in. Guess what? Back then, when y'all saw me, I got some new shit with me. I got some new shit with me. <laughs> Cuz, no, I got some new shit with me. Oh, no, no, because every time he over here with his shorty, this is what she do. He be in the kitchen, this is what she do. Hey, she pull up a chair. She pull up a chair and she be sitting there watching me. You know what I mean? Just like that. I don't tell no lies. You know what I'm saying? Despite what other motherfuckers may say on the mother channels. I don't tell lies. All right. That two hours. That two hours. I know what I'm talking about. That two hours. I know what I'm talking about. That's what he's talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Go back. Go, go back, back to, to shit, shit talk. talk. <laughs> go back to shit talk. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we're gonna let this shit uh, cook. It's say six to eight minutes. We're gonna let it do its thing, and I'll be right back with you. You you was at you was at work. So you mean tell me you ain't watched the movie for two hours? 
Okay, that's different. No, it's not. If you sitting up there and oh, you yeah, eat, no. hold on, no, hold on, no, hold no. on, I gotta stop because my girl might see this video, this first no, video. No, time out, <laughs> time out. Cut you this. telling me? Cut this. You telling me? Cut it out. You telling me that eating pussy for two hours is like watching a Marvel movie? Yes, I'm saying if you're listening, if you're sitting there and you're listening to Gardens, <laughs> <No>. like, <laughs> you, you turn Gardens. There's no way. Galaxy. You turn, You're not about to tell me. Hey, cuz, you turn Guardians of the Galaxy on the background, you listening to uh, Star-Lord and shit, and all that motherfuckers in the background, one, pew, 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 all that shit, right? That and then, you ain't worried about it. What? How does that turn you on? It doesn't turn me on. I'm saying, no, if I get shit. distracted by eating pussy, you know what I'm saying? I hear that, and then I'm, you know what I'm saying? I, I go back and forth, but he's between here and her, don't stop. Yeah, and then also, but I'm hearing like, back and forth, I'm going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting distracted. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna keep it going. That's Especially bad. if the that's, pussy tastes good. It's no, like eating ice cream for two hours. Eating <laughs> ice cream for two hours. Your analogy just suck, bro. Okay. Well, maybe I love it just a little more than you. I don't know about Anyways, that. Anyways, we pull Man, in the noodles. my big brother got kids. I don't think he's eating pussy for two hours. Whatever. We pull in the noodles off of the uh, <laughs> off of the <laughs> So we pull in the noodles off of the stove. All right. Look, forgive me. Yes. They love us. Do they? Yes. One of them loves us. One of us the upstairs neighbors. He actually comes down and drinks with us. So, we pulling this shit off of the stove. We're going to let this shit cool, set it to the side, because uh, that's going in the fry later. Um, right now, we're going to let Cuz finish what he's doing with the Beijing beef. Uh, after that, I will throw it in the wok with some oil, uh, fry the noodles up with, some, with the chicken. Uh, actually, I will get back with y'all when I cook the chicken in the cast iron. If y'all out here cooking chicken in non-stick pans and steaks in non-stick pans, please stop doing that shit. Put it in a cast iron skillet. It cooks way better, I'm telling you. Especially fucking steaks. Hey, especially fucking steaks, bro. Don't be cooking a steak in a regular ass non-stick pan, bro. I, that, that's disrespecting the food, and I'm pretty sure Gordon Ramsay would 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 agree with me. Hashtag the, the, the non-stick the non-stick pans is for eggs and bacon and it all really that is. bullshit. That, that's it. It's not for gourmet meals. It's I'm not. telling you that right now. For the meats, don't do it. Don't do it. Any sort of meat, that non-stick just hit different. It hit different. Listen to me. Go ahead. Did not. Oh yeah, cast iron. You know what I mean. All right, it's all I'm right. drunk now. Come on. Right. I'm drunk right now. <laughs> we making Chinese food, so we need to walk. We need to walk. You gotta make that hot. So we here. Always make sure the heat is on high. A little light drizzle of the oil. This is how you season a wok. See, cause some of y'all don't know how to season shit. You gotta season a wok too. Believe it or not, you gotta season a wok. So let it get hot, let it get hot a little bit. Just wait a second. So one, once you see the oil start really getting loose like that, you wanna bring it around all around all the nooks and crannies. You don't want no dry spots. But then after you season it, you usually want to dump it. I usually dump it in the grease that I had pour that I put my, my meat in. Right? It sounds dumb. Just pour more grease in there. <laughs> so you had the, the, the heat on a good little medium, medium high. And while all that shit was cooking and you was prepping stuff, you want to get these big chunks of red onion, red bell pepper, sorry, red bell pepper and white onion. So what I like to do, I like to mince a little bit of garlic. Throw it up in there. Let it go. Then throw your vegetables in there. And then while you got all that in there, Gotta put some salt in there. It's so much easier to stir fry all this stuff in the water. And once this shit starts getting a little soft, 
a little sauce and a little chard. That's when you want to put your sauce in. And as y'all saw earlier, y'all saw what I put my sauce in. That go, stir it around. Once it gets to a boil, then that's when we start putting our meat in. So you, you let it go to a boil and let it reduce a little bit. Let the sugars, the sweetness, and all that shit go through. See how it's kind of starting to steam. It's gonna start to boil a little bit. You can see right there, all the bubbles. So we're gonna kind of let that sit for a little bit. So while we let it reduce and boil and simmer a little bit. We get the cornstarch. Not too much. Get a good amount in there right there. And then I'm gonna move these noodles. Put a little water in there. And then we just stir it around. It's called a slurry. This is gonna thicken up the sauce a little bit. So you usually try not to put too much in there. Put a little bit in there. And then you stir it around and then see how, how thick the sauce gets. And you see how it's still a little watery. Put a little more in there. And this is gonna help coat the meat. So then after that, turn the heat down. Throw the meat in there. And at that point, you just kind of stir it around a little bit. And start to toss it a little bit. Get, get all that sauce in there. Listen, we got this oil that's smoking hot. You can probably, I don't know if you can see it. It's a good ass camera, but I don't know if you can see it on the oil. But look, so we're gonna throw it in this bitch. Woo! If you don't, you don't make that noise, it ain't hitting right. You gotta make sure your oil hot, hot. All right? You wanna let the shit cook. You wanna make sure you keep it moving at all times. But we also wanna get a good sear on it. So let's, let's spread it out. Make sure all the, uh, the chicken, it's kind of hitting because you know uh, what this will do is the meat cools down the oil uh, a lot. So when you make sure you keep your heat on high. We want to get a good sear on it because the chicken is actually going to get cooked most of the time. So it's definitely going to get cooked all the way through. But how you make sure your meat is still nice and juicy and, uh, and, and, and still has good flavor and not dried out. You don't want to overcook it the first time. So. You want to make sure you get um, a nice sear on it, toss it, uh, if it still is looking moist, good, you pull it from the fucking uh, burner, set it aside, and we'll add it in later to the, the, the pad top. Alright, now, uh, y'all can do this if you want, it's a side step. Uh, it's called mise en place, which means everything in its fucking place, alright, which means Put your shit away after you're done using it. You know what I mean? So we just want to clean up a little bit. Now, remember this. While you're cooking, we call it taste, though, nigga. Taste, 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 taste. That's important because you don't want to serve some shit that you don't remember what the taste is for it. So let me grab a fork. And then pick it up. Make sure you pick a piece that you absolutely know is all the way cooked through. This is a small piece of chicken. I know it's all the way cooked through. Fine. Blow on it. Don't burn your fucking mouth. Delicious. Don't need no salt. Don't need no pepper. Don't need nothing. Delicious. I see shots is pulled up. Now what, what you want? What you want to do about it? We're gonna go ahead and grab one. And grab another grab two. one. Lord, Lord, amen. I said, so now we can remove the chicken from the heat. So 
set that shit to the side. Grab your wok. Walk on the heat. Start to heat the oil. Now, for the, for the amount of oil that you need, use your own judgment. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Use your own judgment. I'm not gonna measure. So, I'm gonna do a little, just so that way, like along the bottom, because I'm going to saute the vegetables. I'm going to also um, cook the noodles in the oil, coat the noodles in the oil. Add a little bit more. I'm gonna cook, cook the noodles in the oil, and then we're gonna add the chicken fat. So, first thing going in is the vegetables, so that way the vegetables can get a nice coat of oil on it. And then we're gonna freestyle, so I'm gonna need you to follow along. Or follow along. Ooh. Follow along a little bit, all right? That. Usually people would think, oh man, the oil's getting too hot. You see the smoke. No, this is what we want. This is what we want, okay? So, what you're gonna do is you're going to take your your uh, your sliced bell peppers. You can do whatever bell peppers you want. I did green. You can do green and red. You can do green, red, yellow, orange. I just did green, okay? So, take this. Throw that in there. It's gonna cook real fast. You're gonna toss it. Make sure you keep this shit moving, okay? You can't stop moving because otherwise it'll burn. But once you keep it, but, but if you keep it moving, it'll be all right. We got our noodles ready. We're gonna get we're gonna get the noodles ready. To throw in to the uh, to the stir fry, okay? I'm not gonna use all these. Apparently, I cooked too much. I didn't realize two boxes too much. <laughs> Whatever. It's all right. We got it. But let's wait till. So what you want to wait till is. So you start to see some color on these noodles. You don't want them to be cooked all the way through because remember, they're still going to cook while your noodles are cooking. They're just not gonna cook as fast. Also, it bears to mention, if you're cooking on a um, electric stove, it could be a little different than when you're cooking on a gas stove. Right now, we're cooking on a gas stove, so it's an open flame. And I just want you guys to know that everything kinda does cook a little bit better or a little bit more, um, equal on a on a on a gas stove just because it's an open flame rather than the electric you know you have to wait for the electric to, to heat up cool down this way you can manipulate the heat a little bit better you see i can turn it down all the way low or i can turn it all the way up on high you know what I'm so we do love a gas uh, a gas stove a little bit better um but you can still do this on an electric stove i wouldn't use a, a wok we can do a modified version if you want to later um just for an electric stove um but for right now so now, you see how uh, some of these are starting to wilt. That means they are getting cooked all the way through. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw the noodles in so that way the noodles can saute. All right? So. Seeing as we're cooking in a wok, we could do, we take it off the burner, make sure, hold it with both hands. Uh, if the base gets a little hot, you might need to grab a mitt, which I'm gonna grab this mitt right here, and we're gonna grab it, and we're gonna toss it like this, okay? Just so we can get the oils all the way through and the flavors. Don't be afraid. It's a little bit, uh, can get a little, little, little flavorful depending on all the juices. Okay, so grab your tongs and kind of mix it through as well. Just once the noodles, once the noodles loosen up. Okay, we're gonna let it fry for a little bit. Taste your food always. So let's see what these noodles taste about. Okay. I feel like they're missing a little bit of flavor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some flavor. Be generous, be generous, because it's a lot, depending on how much you make, you use your own judgment, I'm serious, okay? Lemongrass chili, that is unsalted. So we will need to add some salt. Let's go ahead and do this. Then we are going to go ahead and mix it. 
see that it's a lock, you toss it. Make sure after every time you season it, you also taste it again. You know what I mean? That's how you know. Don't just, oh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on cooking it until I think, no. Taste it again. We're gonna throw this fucking chicken back in here. Turn that shit up to high. Remember that chicken that you cooked a little bit while ago? Guess what? Now it's ready to go on your fat side. If the pan's still hot, which mine is, because it's a cast iron, grab your little oven mitt. Put that bitch back on. Yeah. Dump it in. Yeah. Got all this shit in the wok, right? That shit up to high heat. Take the wok, take whatever the fuck you got, grab this bitch. Turn that shit off because it's damn, it's done cooking, but you want to make sure it's mixed all the way through. So you just mm, 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 mm. give it a one more toss. Done. And voila, there we have it. You know what I'm saying? Chicken pad thai with Beijing beef on the side. You know what I mean? Not trying to go to these Chinese restaurants. Just know that we cook better than that shit, you dig? This is Black Man Cook 2. I'm Chef School. And I'm Robbie So Mobby. On everything on my mind. If you don't believe me, you better ask somebody. I can't wait for y'all to get a taste of this. More to come soon. Yeah. Tune in to episode two. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Arctic House, Arctic TV. We got more shows in this. If you're hungry, subscribe to us. If you want to laugh, subscribe to us. But if you also want to laugh, subscribe to Shit Talk. If you also want to laugh again, subscribe to the Happy Hour. And if you're hungry, again, subscribe to Snack Wars. We got everything. Hey, I got That's fire. <laughs> we, about put, we about to put Panda Express out of business, you dig? <laughs>